Yes. This is a auger. auger. Thank you. Auger. There's Michael. He's winding the auger. And then the auger is attached to the pulleys, which has the. It, you need to go in the opposite direction. <laughs> there you go. Now that's where the. Go not so fast, a little slower, and that'll show where all the little cups go up to. How fit What a wonderful display. Let me do this again. I like the way this looks. Oh, fascinating. Should I take a picture of you? There's Michael. This is a return air purifier. And you can see it blows on the very top portion. Unfortunately, with all the elevators and chutes, it's very difficult to see. And there are gates that preclude us from going into and seeing a lot of really spectacular portions. Michael said, I ain't seen nothing yet, and it'll be upstairs. Apparently, the third floor is to just die for. Hold on. This is the single person elevator. It goes, it's right now is at the first floor, but it goes all the way down to the basement and then it comes up. Now we're on the second floor and then it goes all the way up to the third floor. <laughs> we are at um, the stairs leading up to the third floor and there's the dam. It's the third dam. First dam was um, brush, the second one was wood, and it was taken out in the 1933 flood. And this one has the um, is concrete with um, buttresses on it, and it also has a staircase for migrating fish. I think it's at the far end, but look, it's it was really full. The, the River is full this day. It's like flooded everywhere. Quite spectacular. And the reason they built the dam there is because of this stone shelf that exists on the big Raccoon Creek. So I'm um, two thirds of the way up the stairs into the third level. And like I walk up here, I, I came in and I'm going, oh, look at all this. So I'm going to let you pan through some of what I see looking up it's spectacularly amazing we'll go in and take a closer look at this one now this is a corn cleaner and it has a capacity to do a hundred bushels of corn doesn't say per hour, but probably. Sorry for moving there. Okay, now we're going to go out from that. What's going on up there on top? Those are all elevators. Elevators. Top of the elevators. Pulleys. Belts. This is a corn purifier. This contains the corn sifter again, back side of it. And it has screens in it to sift out all the debris. Um, which this top piece of equipment, I think, is, and then it would drop into the screen here, and then it would drop down again into the chute, and then it would go into this dealy here, and then get stored, I guess. I'm not sure if this thing would have gone I guess that way. See this chute here? And then it goes across and down and back and forth and then finally comes out and goes someplace.
says it's a sifter and a or a swing sifter. It's got the big box. Quit running it because of the belt. This whole thing would shake back and forth. Uh, after it was transported to the sifter, it would sift. There, there were various grades coming out of these tubes, and they would go either finished product or back down to the roller mills to be ground again, and then back up here and sifted it until it got fine enough. Again, we're on the third level. And I'm looking at the peak, mostly the peak of the mill. We're going to go over a, I don't know, some board here. I just want you to see how many ideas of belts and pulleys that they have. And then look at all the elevators. And then to the right here, we have flower, what they call flower dressers or flower bolters. Right now you see the mechanisms that power the bolters and um, usually they're attached to some kind of belts and pulley and these also are the gears and the gears are the direct direct the energy inside of each of the of the um, dressers. That's the back side of the flower dresser. This would do the same thing as the thing that shakes, only this drum turns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as that turns, the flower falls through this screen and, and it falls in here and that's finished product. If it doesn't fall through the screen, eventually it makes its way out the other end and goes back down to be ground again. So you had three different sizes ready to It's that three levels of bolters. Yeah. And these are the rear end side of their mechanisms with the gears and the I'm gonna try to show you the amazing level of elevators and I'm gonna go over here and elevators on both sides. I don't know how many, I can't count them all. I would say maybe 15 or One 20. side of these set looks like a elevators coming up. And then the other side would be a chute coming down to be bagged. Or to be reground. Dependent upon its size. Look at all that equipment up in there. Jeez, I didn't even see that. This place is just huge and amazing. I just hope you can appreciate the gravity of this on a video. Okay, you got a cup on a belt. It's in this box. And it's got flour in it. And it goes up. And when it gets to the top there, and it comes around the top pulley, it throws out whatever's in the cup and it comes over and, and it catches into these chutes. And this box is still the cup, but it's upside down going back down to pick up the next load. So there's a little bit of flour that didn't get dumped probably coming down the chute, but the majority of flour is going to end up going back into these dressers. Now the differential, are you ready? Yeah, The go. differential reel performs the same function as a flour dresser, which is that box over there. However, the drum is turned at a slower speed than the other flower dressers. It sprays the flower instead of slinging it through the screen. In addition, the horsehair brushes, which you can see right here, turns at a high speed, higher speed of speed cleaning the drum, so it brushes the drum off. 